Support for this episode is provided by The Gromit, the place to discover unique, innovative products from entrepreneurs, small businesses, and makers. And Technor Apex, maker of the Zero-G hose, the hose that takes the work out of yard work. Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. I'm John Peters, and in this episode, I'm going to use these Jatoba boards, also known as Brazilian cherry, to make a knife block. These boards are cut offs from a desk that I made my father almost 20 years ago, so it's nice to finally put them to use and make a home for these beautiful knives. These are R. Murphy knives. They're made here in the United States, in Massachusetts, and I got these from the Gromit. The Gromit specializes in unique products from entrepreneurs and makers, and I'll have a link to the Gromit in the description below. So I've already cut these boards to width. The next step is to set up a stop block on the crosscut sled and cut them to length. First, I'll square up one side of each board. Then I'll set up a stop block and cut all the boards to length. I'm using my crosscut sled for this project because it's more accurate and more square than my miter saw. These are the four boards cut to size and the next step will be to create slots to hold the knives and this is kind of how it's going to look. And after doing a little research on the internet, I found that the way that Bob from I Like to Make Stuff made the slots using a straight bit in the router. That seemed like the easiest way to me. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll go ahead and mark where I need to plow the material out with the router and then get to work. I've set the depth of the router to just a little bit heavier than the knife blade. And when I remove the material, I'm going to work from the outside over so the base of the router always has support. I'm pretty happy with the way this is coming along and I'm almost ready to laminate these boards together but before I do that I'm going to sand this surface and this surface because I won't be able to get to them easily with a machine once the block is glued together. I'll start with 80 grit sandpaper in the orbital sander and then I'll move on to 150 grit in the palm sander. I'm using biscuits to help me glue the boards together. These aren't for added strength. They're just to help prevent the boards from shifting around while I'm clamping them together. I used glue blocks to make sure I didn't damage any of the wood during the clamping. And of course I used a lot of clamps closed up all the seams and then used a wet rag to clean up any of the glue squeeze out. I let the glue set up overnight, unclamped the block this morning, gave it a good sanding and then used a small roundover bit in the router to soften the edges. For the finish I'm using a food safe board wax by SoCal Woodshop and you can learn more about this finish at SoCalWoodshop.com. Okay, well, I'm really happy with the way this knife block turned out. And it was a pretty simple project, so 
if you're looking for something to make for somebody for this holiday season, maybe this is one that you want to put on the list. And I will put the measurements and a drawing on my website, even though this one is kind of custom because of the knife cutter or the uh, pizza cutter. But you could always go ahead and buy this set at the Gromit and, uh, and then make the exact one that I made. And talking about holiday gift ideas, I guess about two or three days ago, I posted how to make a wooden spatula. And I've got the pattern on my website for this project, another very simple project. Uh, this spatula I made about nine months ago and it became the most popular cooking utensil in our kitchen. Everybody would just always reach for this one. This one's also American cherry and this is American cherry. So it's kind of interesting to see how much darker cherry gets in time. It's only nine months difference between this one and this one. And so it's, it's a lot darker. That's why people reach for cherry. It's not so much when you're building the piece of furniture because cherry, when you're working with it, has kind of a, a pink color, but give it a few months and it gets to be this really nice, dark, warm color. So I wanted to give a big thank you to Technor Apex for sponsoring this episode and sponsoring my channel for 2019. Technor Apex makes the Zero G hose. I've been using that hose now for about a year and I'm a big fan of it. It's just very lightweight. It's easy to use. The aluminum couplings don't leak and I would recommend that hose to anybody and everyone in my family now uses the Zero G hose. So big thank you to Technor Apex and having them on board as a sponsor makes projects like the Make It in Vermont project possible. And I talked a little bit about this in my last episode. If you didn't know, uh, Make It in Vermont is about going up to Vermont, buying a small house and renovating it or building a small house and then making content around people who are making things in Vermont. And of course, there'll be a lot of content made during the renovation of the house or the building of the house. So that's kind of the big plan for 2019 and having Technar Apex on board really helps make that plan uh, possible. So uh, that's what's going on. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. To purchase Make It in Vermont merchandise, click on the links below and visit my website for original signed and dated woodcut prints of the Old Red Barn. So I've already got these boards pretty close to size and now I'm going to go over to the, what is that thing called? Crosscut sled and set up a stop block and cut them to their exact length.